A new grocery store set to be built in Beaverdale. Here is an old U.S. Bank mortgage where it was. It's causing some concerns with residents. Des Moines City Council approving a new fairway meat market this morning, something that's been in the works since last June. They approved it for the intersection of Beaver and Urbandale Avenues. Now across from O'Donnell Ace Hardware, Local 5's Lakin McGee is live at the future fairway site. Lakin, you were at the City Council meeting. What can you tell us? That's right, so the city council unanimously approved this plan, but I can also tell you that some of the neighbors here, well, they're not too happy about it, and that's because the future fairway will butt up against their, their backyards right where I'm standing. Next is our hearing on appeal by Fairway Stores, Inc. It was a small crowd that turned out for the meeting in the city chambers. Only one person from the Beaverdale neighborhood showed up. The building sits almost in the middle of the parking lot. Garrett is the executive vice president of Fairway. After the approval by council, he was approached by the lone Beaverdale resident. He tells me he wasn't surprised to hear people in the neighborhood were not happy it was being built, but says the majority of feedback has been positive. There was a concern about not having access on to Beaver Avenue. The, the site has a host of constraints, though. It's only 0.89 acres and we are trying to put a building on top of our next two two sidewalks. In the neighborhood, the fairway will be visible from a residential street. I spoke with neighbors that live there. I mean, it's right there in your backyard. Oh my gosh. Right. And it's going to be right here because this house, they're tearing it down. Right? Are they? Yeah, this is this is the biggest thing that they got. They got the approval to tear down a house and have parking lot here. And for Kara, she works from home and has requests for fairway. I know things are going forward, but if they can really, really actually try to enforce the no left hand turn out of the entrance here, that would really help the people on this street and also abide by the no commercial trucks on this street. Both of those things would be really, really helpful for residents here. Now, Fairway's original plan did not get approved. The City Plan and Zoning Commission denied their request to build earlier this month. Now, here is a look at the first designed Fairway proposed. This was denied because the Commission wanted to see three changes, making the design better in their view. The first two changes either dealt with adding or removing glass and creating more of a Beaverdale look. The third was adding an additional entry slash exit to either Beaver or Urbandale Avenue. In a letter to the city, the real estate manager for Fairway said they met the first two, but not that third. Now, a spokesperson for the city said that the city council did make an exception to that second entrance right before voting earlier this morning. Live in Beaverdale, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. All right, Lake and thank you. We want to let you know the fairway tells us construction is set to begin in the coming weeks. A couple weeks ago, Lake can also reported on the city's zoning commission approving storage units to replace the old Gordman's on the city's northeast side. A neighbor started a petition because residents there want the old Gordman's turned into a grocery store instead, but that's not getting traction, even though residents there are in a food desert, according to the United States Department of Agriculture. Now here's a look at the USDA map. So the green areas show where a significant number of low income residents have to travel a mile or so to the nearest supermarket. Now the orange shows where the same population has to travel half a mile or more to the nearest supermarket. The red square on the right is the old Gordman's right in the middle of the food desert. Now while the red square on the left is the fairway meat market located just outside a USDA designated food desert.